Hey folks, all this waiting for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night has made me dig up Dawn of Sorrow again, which uh, I somehow managed to forget about. Uh, I mean, I know kind of why it is. I have it on the DS. I actually got a DS XL, but the screen is still too small for my taste. I've never been much into handhelds, and this is the reason why I haven't played this game much or didn't play it much when I first got it, uh, which is a shame because it's amazing. I mean, Dawn of Sorrow is essentially another Symphony of the Night. It's the exact same thing. It's Symphony of the Night 2.0, essentially. And yeah, that's why it's good. But yeah, for some reason, I can never really get into handhelds for a long period of time. Um, I don't know, I'm just a console slash PC gamer and... Even though I like the DS, technically, I just don't end up playing it. So now, I'm playing it on an emulator. This is uh, Des Mume, and <laughs> I'm actually playing this with a Super Nintendo controller. Which is kind of perverted, but also oddly appropriate. And it works quite well. So, yeah. Currently, I'm using the vertical uh, setup. You can also... Uh, put the LCD layout to horizontal, which is what I prefer, because it just works better on a widescreen, of course. Uh, but for the video, it's actually better to put it in a standard DS configuration. Okay, and um, I actually haven't played this game all the way through, which is, yeah, kind of weird. As I said, the main reason is because I have trouble getting into handhelds. Some of you may find that very weird, and I understand, but that's how it is. Hmm. Let's see, the harpy. Generally familiars are not great. Yeah. Are you doing anything? Oh, so you're only doing... Uh, okay, that's a that's a really crappy angle, actually. So, it's nice to have boobs with you as you travel. You know, when it's dangerous to go alone, better get some boobs. Also, <sighs> Japanese game developers. Despite of how limited they were in the pixel art, I mean, not as much as on in, in Dawn of Sor uh, Aria of Sora, I mean, but they still didn't have that much to work with, but they still insisted on animating the boobs on pretty much all the female enemies that have exposed boobs, which are a lot, because it is a Japanese game. So, gotta have boobs. Not that I'm complaining, but it is kind of peculiar that they would <laughs> painstakingly animate that. Gotta have some jiggle in there, or otherwise movement, right? Is this a different slime? Yep, that's a different slime. I have the sole of the other slime, but this is a different slime. Oh, wow. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot. Ice is better. Okay. So, yeah, this is... Um, if you haven't played this, I would highly, highly recommend getting it. And even if you're like me and you don't like handhelds a whole lot, I mean... Oh, will you let go of me? Even if you don't like handhelds that much, just buy the game on handheld and then play it on emulator. Nothing wrong with that. It is, um, in my opinion, like for me personally, it's a better experience. Again, totally understand if somebody finds that perverted because they like handhelds. I mean, the point of handhelds is to be portable, which this, of course, isn't, but I just don't game while on the move, so it doesn't really matter for me. Okay. So, yeah, nothing much going on otherwise. Um, at least nothing that I, I really want to talk too much about currently, because it's just been like, huh, what is this? It's not actually an enemy. Oh, there they come. Oh, no. Are you serious? Those suckers. It just grows those. This is the most offensive tree in the entire game. It just 
it grows Fleeman. How much more annoying can it get? Ugh. That's just that tree. Fuck that tree. That's ridiculous. And yeah, I like Persephone on you know, full upgrade. She's pretty useful. I mean, sure, the life leech isn't much to write home about, but um, you will, over time, you will replenish your health if you just suck up enough enemies, I guess. And she can also deal with certain attacks pretty well. Like the Frozen Shade, for example, the crystals that she hurls at you as her attack. Pfft, just suck them up with a vacuum. Done. So that's pretty convenient. And I think... Yep, here is the handgun. I've been looking for that. I mean, at this point it's probably not much good. Uh, and up here, let me see. Yeah, that damage is puny. It's cool though. It's, it's pretty cool to have a handgun in Castlevania. Well, I mean... Okay, it's not really cool. <laughs> the damage output is so puny. Her vacuum does more damage than this. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's not even very fast. Oh. Okay, that's painful. <laughs> it's got really long reach and all, but yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> You're actually better off at that point with the throwing sickle. It does more damage, which is a little weird. Just a little. But whatever. I like my halberd. Or, you know what, let's switch to the battle axe for extra damage. The battle axe is a bit slow, or more than a bit actually, but it's it does all the damage. All kinds of damage. I also like that the skeletons are just getting sucked up into the vacuum entirely. Just all the bones just go right in there. Well, I don't really have a lot to say right now, and usually forcing it is not a good idea, so I'll probably just leave it at that. Um, it's kind of funny that I decided to make this video, not just because uh, I hadn't uploaded in a couple of days on the channel, and I'd like to keep this pretty regular. Man, I'm fluffy right now. So fluffy. Because um, <laughs> I, I don't want to neglect this channel here. Um, and also, the other reason is I just kind of... I just wanted to do something else other than the next video on the main channel, because I have been getting some burnout, or whatever you want to call that, a creative burnout, and the problem with the main channel is I, I can't just take a couple of weeks off to try to recharge and, and rekindle that creative flame or whatever. So yeah, I've just got to push through that, even if I have no motivation and don't feel like making a video and, and just, bleh, it's kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that I suddenly don't want to do this anymore. It's just that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, all the time, for years and years and years, eventually there's going to be some kind of burnout, you know, creative burnout or something. This is already too rambly and complainy, but whatever. I said it. It'll go up. Anyway, hope you liked the video despite of that, and um, have a good one.